This segment is sponsored by Endoscopic Wellness Center of America. Obesity remains a national epidemic as one in three Americans are diagnosed as obese, which can lead to other serious health issues. The experts at Endoscopic Wellness Center of America have the latest innovations to help those who are struggling with obesity. And I'm joined by Dr. Richard Allen Blosser, who is the chief medical officer who has important information about weight loss injections and how they're different from procedures at EWLCA. Welcome, Dr. Blosser. Great to see you. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Sure. Well, Dr. Blosser, there are so many options out there for weight loss, but how are they different from the procedures at EWLCA? Well, please understand, and thank you for the question. Uh, please understand that the EWLCA approach is to modify behavior um, and ultimately to make your stomach volume smaller so that you will learn uh, what four ounces is, what six ounces is. The purpose of the uh, injectable drugs, which are on the market now and, and widely prescribed, have gone up 300% in the last year, are not being used for their intended purpose. Their intended purpose was for uh, type 2 diabetics and hypoglycemic and hyperglycemic control. They're being used for the side effect of what is called gastroparesis or slowing down the stomach. So the food that you eat the night before stays in your stomach for a longer period of time. And lo and behold, um, you know, you don't feel as, as hungry and you, you hope, hope, hopefully will learn at time, as time goes on to you know, reduce the caloric intake and especially the sugar intake. The problem with that is, is that once you stop it, then your stomach re re returns to normal. So once you start these uh, injectables, you're gonna be on it for the rest of your life. Um, secondly, we have a, a program uh, educating patients with regards to uh, dietary behaviors. Uh, and more, more importantly, uh, the safety of the balloons or the ESG or the four procedures, which are the endoscopic endobariatric approaches that we take, uh, do not carry the side effects that come along with the injectables, including hypoglycemia, renal failure, kidney failure, and, um, and pancreatitis, as well as hepatitis. So there are significant side effects with the injectables that need to be followed very, very closely and should only be given under the direction of a, of a licensed physician. Does sound like there are significant side effects. What about side effects from the procedures at EWLCA? Yeah, thank you. We uh, Our side effects are really related to the endoscopy and the endoscopic approach in the United States is one of the safest uh, interventions that we have. We do in excess of 25 million uh, endoscopies of various types in the United States without significant side effects. So the risk of bleeding, perforation, or anesthesia effect, which in the world literature occur between one in 3,000 to one in 5,000 procedures, I uh, would argue is probably maybe even less than that. But that being said, these are very safe um, and uh, no different than you uh, driving your car to the bank, to be honest with you, and getting in a car accident. So uh, the safety is, is uh, orders of magnitude safer um, than the injectables. Uh, and not, and, and with all due respect, something that we can obviously take care of at the same time. So if there was to be a bleeding ulcer or something at the time of an ESG or balloon placement, we could actually not only make the diagnosis, but uh, tr get a treatment plan. Whereas with the injectables, as we're talking about, uh, you know, they carry a significant risk, not only of kidney failure or pancreatitis, uh, but of death. And uh, we don't talk about death and endoscopy. Death and endoscopy is not something that really we have a discussion about. The death with these injectables as they get more and more used in patients who may or may not be good candidates uh, is going to become a, a very big talking point. Wow. So it sounds like there's a lot of options, but there's also risks. And people should probably come to a doctor like yourself to understand what the safer alternatives for weight loss are. Dr. Blosser, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the questions and the conversation. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, visit EWLCA.com to request an appointment for a consultation with their team of experts. They will help you kickstart your weight loss journey.